Skill grinding in Hypixel Skyblock is an essential task for all players, and whether you like it or not, working on your skills is one of the easiest but most time consuming ways to boost your progression. Now while skill grinding is important, it can also be very expensive to complete effectively, and while most skills do tend to pay themselves off and actually earn you some profit in the end, it's likely that it will take hundreds of hours for this to occur. But what if I told you there was a way to reach a max level skill in under 3 hours? What if I told you that this skill only requires an upfront cost to get started, and what if I told you that this skill can be profitable as long as you follow some very specific steps? If you couldn't already tell, this magical skill is the alchemy skill, and yes, it is possible to max this out really easily, so let's just jump straight into how to pull it off. So how do you level the alchemy skill? The first way that you can level your alchemy skill is by farming nether wart, and I would highly not recommend doing this because, as you can see here, the XP gain from farming nether wart is extremely slow. This means that the method that I'll be covering in today's video will be brewing potions, which is the more obvious thing to do, and the method that a lot of other people use. Now, how does brewing potions level your alchemy skill? Well, it works in a very simple manner. Basically, the types of potions that you do brew will affect how much XP you gain from them, so if you use stronger or more potent ingredients, you will get more XP in return. This means that if I brew a bunch of level 1 speed potions, it's not going to give me that much XP because I didn't really put any expensive ingredients into them. But if I go out and spend a little bit more money to get some level 6 speed potions, this will give me a lot more XP in return because I put some stronger ingredients in the potion. So this leads to the question of which ingredients should you brew, and there are a bunch of ingredients in this game that you can pick from, but realistically, there are only two main ones you should be focusing, and that's going to be Enchanted Sugarcane and Enchanted Fermented Spider Eyes. Now I'm not going to get into too much detail as to why these two are the main ingredients, but to summarize, they're the most cost effective, the easiest to brew with, and the ones that you'll likely get your hands on because they're the easiest ones to use. So then how do you brew these potions? Once again, it's very, very simple. There are two ways to do this. One of it uses normal water bottles and the other one uses things like the cheap coffee from the bartender. But I'm not going to talk about the cheap coffee and other alternatives because they tend to be a lot more expensive. And if you're really lazy, then you're going to go with that option instead. Since I am showing you the most profitable way to do the alchemy skill, I am going to go with the harder but obviously cheaper way to do this. And to do so, you're going to need a bunch of water bottles, nether wart, and other ingredients. You will also need a boost cookie and a god pot active whilst brewing because the boost cookie will give you a 20% skill XP boost to all of your skills, and the god pot has all of the skill XP boosting potions to once again boost your skill XP. So, Enchanted Sugarcane is very simple. You start by putting three water bottles in a brewing stand, and then you put a nether wart at the top slot so that it creates a bunch of awkward potions. Then once you're done with that, you want to put in the Enchanted Sugarcane so it creates some speed 5 potions, and then after the speed 5 potions are brewed, you want to place some regular glowstone dust to turn the speed 5 potions into speed 6s. Contrary to popular belief, you don't actually have to add any form of redstone to the potions to increase the cell value, so stick to only adding in the sugarcane and the glowstone dust. As long as you're left with speed 6s and not speed 5s, you've done the step correctly and you can go ahead and pull all the potions out of the brewing stands. Doing so will reward you with a large sum of alchemy XP for each potion you remove, and once you start to fill your inventory with them, sell them to any NPC to try to recover some of the money back. Now you will need to do this many, many, many times with lots and lots of potions to actually get any noticeable XP, and if you really want to, there are some methods that actually automate this process. I'm not going to be covering it in today's video, so I highly suggest you check out other videos if you want to look that up. As far as I'm aware, they're called auto brewers, so if you want to look that up in your own time, feel free. So now we know how to actually brew these potions, but there are some ways to make this a little bit more efficient and actually get some more money out of the original money spent. And the main way of doing this is by leveling an alchemy pet. Now, if you weren't aware already, on your journey from Alchemy 0 to 50, you can actually level 3 legendary alchemy pets all the way to level 100. This is really important because, in theory, if you decide to level a bunch of pets while you're simultaneously leveling your alchemy skill, you can then sell those pets at max level to get a little bit of profit out of the auction house, and thus it'll pay off the original investment that you did start with to actually buy all the enchanted sugarcane or the fermented spider eyes. 
Now for this video, I'm going to be covering sheep pets as they are the most reliable pet. They tend to stay at the same price all the time and they're also the cheapest pet. So for most players, you'll likely be able to actually afford the sheep pets at the start of your Alchemy 50 grind. That being said, you can experiment with parrot pets or jellyfish pets. They are a lot more expensive early on, but if you have a lot of money lying around and you want to level those up instead, feel free to do so. It could give you more profit. Either way, I'm going to show you the cheapest way to get a level 100 sheep pet as well. So follow these steps closely so you can see how it's done. The first step is to buy an epic sheep pet off the auction house for around a million coins. Now, alternatively, you could craft one yourself and try and gamble your luck, but if you do this, you risk losing a lot of money, so I wouldn't do that. Then, once you have your epic sheep pet, you want to go over to Zog in the Hub Island, and you want to buy the All Skills XP boost for 50,000 coins. Next, you want to actually equip the sheep pet and then give it the All Skills XP boost. And once you have that set up, make a buy order on the bazaar for 512 enchanted mutton, and make sure the price of the enchanted mutton is around 3,000 to 3.5 thousand coins. Now that you have your epic sheep pet equipped, you want to go ahead to all the brewing stands you've set up, or if you have an auto brewer, you want to go over to that, and then you need to collect all of the potions that you have brewed with the sheep pet equipped, and just watch it go up and up and up in XP until it reaches level 100. Now once it reaches level 100 as an epic sheep pet, you need to make sure that you keep on going until the pet has at least 25.3 million XP, or to be precise, you need 25,353,230 XP total. The reason the sheep pet has to have at least 25.3 million XP is because when you level it to legendary using cat, this will ensure that it's actually level 100. For those that didn't already know, a level 100 epic pet only requires about 18 million XP to hit level 100 with, but a level 100 legendary pet requires 25.3 million XP, so in order to account for that extra XP required, we're going to over level the epic pet so that it will actually stay level 100 as a legendary. Now you can check how much XP your pet has using mods like NEU or SBE. I'm unsure if websites like Skycrypt will actually tell you how much XP it has, but whatever method you want to use, make sure your pet has 25.3 million XP. Now that you have that level 100 epic sheep pet, you want to go over to Cat and give it to her, and then level your epic sheep pet to legendary. Now once your epic sheep pet is leveling, it will take 7 days for it to reach level 100 as a legendary, but if you want to speed things up, you can use Cat Flowers, it's just going to cost you a little bit more money and result in less profit. But if you choose to stick to the method I'm showing in this video, after your 7 days are up, you'll be left with a level 100 legendary sheep pet, and all in all, if you tally up all the money we spent on the enchanted mutton, the sheep pet, and the all skills XP boost, it should have costed you around 3 million coins, though it's likely you would have paid a lot less than this. So, if we level up some sheep pets and we sell back the potions to the NPC, how much is Alchemy 50 actually going to cost us? So, by default, Alchemy 50 from Alchemy Zero requires 792 brewing stands worth of potions. If you didn't know, that is 2,376 potions total. Now, if we use Enchanted Sugarcane, it'll cost you around 41 million coins if you buy enough cane at around the NPC price. Enchanted Sugarcane should be around NPC price at all times, but at the time of recording this video, Enchanted Sugarcane is inflated due to the upcoming garden update. And once that does go underway, Enchanted Sugarcane should reach around the NPC price again. On the other hand, if you're using Enchanted Fermented Spider Eyes, it costs you approximately 59.5 million coins, assuming that Enchanted Fermented Eyes are around 75k. Eyes do tend to hover around the 70 to 80,000 coin margin, so don't pay any more than you actually need to. Now, if we include the potion sellback, the cost comes down to about 27.3 million coins spent if we're using Enchanted Sugarcane and then sell back all the potions to the NPC. And it's around 28.8 million coins with Enchanted Fermented Spider Eyes if, once again, you sell all the potions back to the NPC. Now, one thing I'd like to mention here is with Enchanted Fermented Spider Eyes, you actually don't need to use Nether Wart to brew the potions. You can just go straight from Water Bottle to the Enchanted Fermented Spider Eye and then do the same Glowstone procedure. Going back to the cost though, if you level 3 sheep pets with the previous method that I just told you, the cost comes down to about 9.3 million coins spent with Enchanted Sugarcane, and around 10.8 million coins with Enchanted Fermented Eyes. So overall, we can knock down the price of Enchanted Cane from being about 41 million coins for Alchemy 50, all the way down to about 9.3 million coins. And same goes for the Enchanted Fermented Spider Eyes, it goes from being about 59.5 million coins all the way down to around 10.8 million coins. 
Now this of course comes with all the strategic pet leveling and selling back all the potions. So if you follow these steps meticulously, you will get that nice return back on your investment and thus make Alchemy 50 a lot less expensive. But the title of this video says that you can actually profit from Alchemy 50. So how are we supposed to do that? Now, this is going to take a lot more effort than everything I've already mentioned in this video, so if you don't want to actually profit from Alchemy 50, I understand, but the secret to doing this is with the Derpy Mayor. Derpy is elected into Skyblock every four months or so, and there's actually plenty of trackers either on the wiki or in other locations that'll tell you exactly when Derpy will next be in office. Now this is really important because we're going to need to know when Derpy is going to get elected as mayor and plan ahead of time to make sure that once he's elected, we can make use of that juicy 50% skill XP boost because that'll make it a lot easier to level the alchemy skill. To give you the nerdy numbers, instead of needing 792 brewing stands worth of potions, you're only going to need 564 potions to reach that alchemy 50 goal. And if you couldn't tell already, that is a lot less potions and thus a lot less original money spent. So if we factor in the 50% skill XP boost that Derpy gives us, this will change the total cost of Enchanted Shokane from being about 41.1 million coins all the way down to 29.3 million coins, and the cost of Enchanted Fermented Spider Eyes will go from 59.4 million coins all the way down to 42.3 million coins. If I redo all the calculations from before with these new cost values, Enchanted Shokane ends up profiting just over 2.5 million coins, and Enchanted Fermented Eyes will actually give you a profit of about 6.3 million coins. Be very careful though, you have to buy all of these materials for Alchemy 50 around a month before Derpy's actually elected, because once it's news that he's going to be in office, the prices of both Kane and Eyes naturally go up since everyone else wants to benefit off the 50% boost. You need to be smart and plan ahead so you can get all of these ingredients at their cheapest possible values because otherwise you'll be overpaying like I did on my Chaos profile with Enchanted Fermented Eyes being about 98,000 coins per instead of 75,000 coins per. Overall, if you are patient enough and you prepare accordingly, you can achieve Alchemy 50 and have spare coins, but you do need to have all the money to afford the potions up front and you also need to afford the alchemy pets up front as well. So while it is a long process, it's one that I definitely recommend. Alternatively, you can skip some steps that I've mentioned here to speed things up a little bit, such as buying cat flowers to get the pet straight away, or maybe you buy the pet already at legendary, or maybe you just buy the ingredients when Derpy's elected, but you'll likely end up losing a little bit of money instead of actually profiting. That being said, if you do still roughly follow this guide in detail, you shouldn't be losing too much money on Alchemy 50 that you could have been losing if you didn't sell the potions back or you didn't level any pets at all. So all in all, there's your quick guide to getting Alchemy 50 and actually profiting in the end. Hopefully you guys found it useful and informative in some way. Feel free to use this when Derpy is next around and I'll see you guys in the next video.